What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and today I'm bringing you a brand new tips and tricks video for you guys. Now just to let you know before we get into the video, as I've said before, I stream over on Twitch every single day. The link is down in the description so make sure to drop it a follow and come check out the stream. I will be streaming later after this video. Now without me talking anymore guys, let's dive in and check out that first spot. So for this first trick guys, it takes us over onto Villa and this is a brand new hiding spot that you can use down on the first floor inside the mud room. Now all you have to do here guys is use a shotgun to open up the side of that wardrobe and then break the shelf on the right hand side of it. Now you do need to use a shield to get into this spot but I'm hoping there will be a way to get in without having to use a shield. You just need to place the shield where I've put it on screen and you'll be able to vault over the shield and inside the wardrobe. Now this really is a great spot because it's such a high traffic area for a lot of people rushing into the building and you can get that early pick in the round. Moving on to the next trick guys and we have a brand new evil eye location for you over on Fortress. It is located in the commander office on the second floor. Now all you have to do here guys is jumping up on the desk in the corner you'll be able to get up on top of the bomb and place the evil eye on the wall. Now you have to look at the very corner of the bomb site as I'm showing here on screen and you'll be able to run right up on top of the bomb and place it up on the wall in front of you. Now this evil eye location gives an amazing view of the whole site including all the default plant spots and any enemies coming in from the bathroom. So moving on over onto Clubhouse guys and I have another hiding spot to show you here today. Now this one is located in the bar on the first floor over by the shelves in the corner. Now this used to be a hiding spot where you could actually get inside the shelf but I actually found out a way where you can get in between the shelf and the pipe in the corner. Now this actually is an amazing spot and it's so hard to see for any enemies trying to push in through the bar heading up that main staircase or going in towards kitchen. Moving on over onto Skyscraper guys and I have a Valkyrie cam location for you located in the Geisha room on the second floor. Now this is one of my favorite cam spots on Skyscraper and I do use it a lot in ranked. So all you have to do is lie prone in front of the footstool in the middle of the room and you'll be able to place a cam on the underside of that stool. Now from there you'll be able to watch the whole of the Geisha room, anyone pushing in through the window or anyone trying to open up that wall coming in off the balcony. Moving on to the next trick guys and we have a Valkyrie cam over on Chalet. I want to give a big shout out to Beast Shots FTW for showing me this one. This is one that has been around for a very long time but I have been using it a lot recently and has been very effective for me. So all you have to do here guys is on the library hallway on the second floor in the second skylight window you just need to aim just above where you see the smoke rising from the chimney. And you just need to throw the Valcam and it will land on the chimney on top of the roof and you'll be able to watch that whole west side of the building anyone trying to push in that garage wall or pushing in from the west main entrance. Thank you. 
So just before I let you go guys, if there are any tips and tricks that you would like to see me post in a video, join up on my Discord, the link is down in the description, and post in my Siege Tip Discussion section some of the tips and tricks that you have found that can be featured in a video. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I stream over on Twitch every single day, so make sure to drop over, I will be playing some PC tonight, so come on in and say hello. Now keep up to date on all my social medias, they are listed down in the description. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video and as always see you